Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can install a new VPN service called WireGuard Easy. In the past um, I already showed you how you can install uh, the Wirehole which is the part of free and open source agency and also I have shown you how you can install the Mistborn which contains additional software to prevent uh, ads with a pie hole and also with unbound DNS. But in today's video, it will be all about the WireGuard Easy, which is really easy to set up and manage. The main benefit uh, of this is that it is really lightweight. You can get it to run on the smallest VPS server out there, but also you can easily manage the installation you can list, create, edit, delete, or enable clients. You can show the QR codes to enroll a mobile devices. You can download the client's configuration files, etc., etc. And also, please uh, excuse me, my voice. I'm a little bit sick uh, this week, so hopefully you will understand uh, really well. And uh, also, you can follow the step-by-step -step installation guide on my documentation portal which i provide for almost every installation video so it's easy to follow along also i created a blog post telling you why you should basically use vpn to secure your own infrastructure and in 2024 it is really important thing to do so i hope uh, you like this video check the documentation support the developer for this open source project if you find it useful and uh, let me know if you have any questions and i'll be happy to answer so let's get started So to begin with, we will need to create our uh, server. I use a Hetzner for all of my cloud projects and uh, Hetzner is really great, affordable, and you will get a lot for the money you pay. It is among the cheapest VPS provider out there. So if you want to give it a try, please click the link uh, included in the description and that will get you 20 euros or dollars in your cloud credit so you can spend those for free so for the server i like to use uh, debian 12 for this installation and also you can go with a typical x86 architecture but uh, nowadays i like to use arm 64 so i will choose arm 64 ampere and I will go with the cheapest plan available, which is for three dollar uh, three euros a month, which is really affordable. For the IPv6, uh, I don't need it. We don't need it usually. I choose my SSH key. You want to enable backups if it's your production machine. And now you can just name this uh, WireGuard Easy. And you can click and create. Okay, now our server is up and ready. Next thing what we need to do is to create our firewall. We go create firewall. For the IP address on port 22, I highly recommend to set up your own uh, dedicated IP address from the VPN. So now we will leave it any but when you will deploy this wireguard easy you want to limit to the server ip another port that we will need to open is for uh, wireguard uh, udp uh, protocol is udp and if you can check in the documentation port 51820 will be for connecting to the WireGuard port. And another port what we need to open is for uh, easy WireGuard graphical user interface.
and that port is on TCP 51821821 and we can click and create our firewall all right so now let's just add our server to the terminal manager just copy it and go back to the terminals i'm gonna add a new host And I'm going to connect. Okay, and as with every server, when you deploy your fresh new server, follow the guide how you can secure up your server, enable the lo local user and all the things that are necessary to keep your server secure online. So I have secured up the server. So now what you need to do is to install uh, the Docker. So what you want to do is to navigate again as root user. Okay. No sudo y and you can find the script in uh, the documentation and let's just wait until the docker is installed okay our docker is uh, installed so now we can go back to our user but first add the user to the docker group so user mode ag docker your username now switch user once you switch user i always recommend to create a main folder for all of our docker containers so it will be mkdiy docker cd docker and now inside the docker folder what we need to create is folder for wireguard easy oh, okay it's mkdr sorry and now when you are in the wireguard easy folder you want to create a docker compose file so it will be nano docker compose.yaml and now you will need to copy the configuration file from the documentation so let me copy it and here you can see some notes that you will need to replace so i'm going to edit the path that we created i'm gonna add the user which is webmestify your may vary uh, and for the fireguard host you need to add your server ip so let me grab the ip from the hetzner panel And also for the password, for the graphical user interface, uh, you want to generate your passphrase uh, in your Bitwarden or any other password manager. And I recommend at least seven words with uh, numbers. Okay, so this will be our password for accessing the graphical user interface, which will be available on port 51821. Control O, enter to, to confirm and Control X to exit. And now what you need to do is to type docker compose up hyphen D and it will download and install the Vargard Easy software. Once this is done, 
what we can do, uh, we can navigate to the uh, front end. So let me switch to the Firefox. And you can copy this IP address, you open a new tab, and you go to 51821. Like this, you continue, and here you will need to enter the password. And you can click sign in. And now, as you can see, now you are in the front end of your WireGuard application. So first, what you want to create is your uh, main WireGuard configuration file. So we're gonna add a new client. It's gonna be WireGuard main. And as you can see, now you can uh, see the QR code. So you can send it or connect to your mobile device, smartphone, etc. Or you can click this button to download the configuration file, which you will need to import to WireGuard application. You can download the WireGuard application on WireGuard.com. Where is it from? Uh, Apple Store, Windows, or even Linux. Uh, you can install it very easily. Okay, so yeah, and as you can see, you can, for example, create client one. And you have option to no client. And you have also option to to enable different users by toggling the switch, which is very easy and nice to use. So, and you have no limitations of how many users you will add in the future. Usually, this kind of thing is really great. For example, if you're going to host a bunch of servers and you want to protect port 22, so. You give your customers the WireGuard uh, configuration file, and then they can securely access your website application via SFTP or SSH into the website, which by default port 22 is publicly open. So this is really a great way how you can improve your security and also other security compliances that you might need to want in the future. So I think that's it uh, for this tutorial. It's really quick and straightforward. I try to keep this video really short because I'm not feeling good. I'm a little bit of sick. So thank you very much uh, for watching and I'll give it a try. And if you have any questions, please leave the comments down below and I'll be happy to answer all your related questions. Check the blog post, check the documentation and yeah. Hope to see you, see you everyone soon and have a great day. Bye bye.